If you're like me, you love 3D printing. And on top of that, you love to use your Raspberry Pi to optimize your printer. Now when you do that, there's one main pain point, And that's after you plug in your printer, you also have to plug in the Raspberry Pi. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a buck converter to fix that. The materials that we're going to need for this project is a buck converter. That's the most important. The converter that I chose has an input all the way from 4.5 volts to 28. So that's going to cover both 12 and 24 volt power supplies. I'll have a link in the description of the ones that I picked out. On top of those buck converters, you're also going to want a little bit of wire. With 3 amps, you want at least 22 gauge. I recommend 20 or 18 just to cover your bases. I'll be going with 18 gauge because that's what I have. Although if I had 20 gauge, I'd use that. You'll need a little bit of solder to solder those wires on. And you'll also need a power cable to power the Raspberry Pi. Mine takes a USB micro connector. So I'll be cutting a cable and soldering that on to the output of the buck converter. Also optionally, you may want to have a resistor for when we're fiddling with the output voltage just so there's a load on there. I've got a 100K resistor just to hopefully set those things so I don't burn out my Raspberry Pi. The tools that we're going to need for this project is a soldering iron, wire clippers and strippers, a multimeter, and then also a small screwdriver for adjusting the potentiometer on the buck converter. The first thing that you want to do is cut your piece of wire that you're going to have going from your power supply to your buck converter. Mine isn't very long because I want that converter just there close to the power supply. You also want to cut off the end of your USB that's not going to be plugging into your Raspberry Pi. Then you can take your wire strippers and strip off the ends of those wires so that later you can feed it into the buck converter. With your wires all prepared, you're going to feed those into the holes. Now, mine is marked with in and out, so I'm going to put the bare cables on the inside because the other end is going to screw into the power supply of my 3D printer. And then you also want to feed in the USB into the output side. If yours isn't marked, you want to be careful that you do it right, so look at your documentation. Also, some of these aren't solder connections, they're clamp-on style, but if you do have the solder like mine or the solder style, you want to feed it through those holes, heat up your soldering iron, and then solder those wires in place. With your wires all hooked up, you want to take the bare wires on the input and hook that up to the power supply of your 3D printer. Make sure you get the positive and negatives in the right place. Power up the printer and check what the output voltage is now, if you have the resistor that I talked about optionally, you can just put that into your output and that's going to give a little bit of load that should help us to have a little bit more of an accurate output on that voltage. You want to take your little screwdriver and adjust your potentiometer until your multimeter is reading 5 volts. Now, here's one little thing. The Raspberry Pis, especially the 3B, often like to have just a little bit more than 5 volts. Make sure you know what you're doing and why you'd be doing this. But in my case, I'm actually going to run at 5.2 volts. And that actually is going to simulate some of those higher end Raspberry Pi power supplies. Some of them are 5.1 and then also 5.25. Mine often complains about the voltage and it likes a little bit higher voltage. So in my case, not only am I not going to have a wool wart that I have to deal with, I'm going to get that little bit better voltage that I think the Raspberry Pi is going to like. With the voltage how you like it, make sure you remove that resistor if you did have that in there. And we're going to be able to take that output power, plug in the Raspberry Pi, and make sure that everything works. I hope this has been useful for you and you were able to hook up your 3D printer with a buck converter. If you do, let me know down in the comments how it went and if you have any tips or any thoughts of things that I could do better or different. Thanks so much for watching and take care. No burning.